Have you ever had those things happen where something happens and it is totally bizarre at the time and you think, why in the world would this have happened? And then a little while later, it becomes crystal clear of what it was that God was working in those moments. So fairly recently, I had that sort of experience. We were supposed to do a Bible study in, with a group of women, about 10 women, who were all in missions in Quito, Ecuador. And they were out, someone was gonna bring them down to Ecuador for us, and so they were out on delivery. And then all of a sudden, we found out that the US Postal Service truck burned up. Every single book that we had ordered for our Bible study was burned up. And we were like, what kind of sign is this that our Bible study books have burned up? And so we were able to do another Bible study during that time. And then for this semester, we ordered the books again. And it is almost like this Bible study was written for the exact time of quarantine and a pandemic and questioning because this Bible study by Beth Moore, it's called The Quest. And it is all about the questions of the Bible. And it is all about us being on more than a journey, but beyond a journey, something that takes courage. And I think that in this time, we want to see courage and we want to live courage. And there is no question too much for God. When we question God, we get into deeper relationship with God. That's how we build relationships. Your husband gets home in the afternoon and you say, how was your day? Your kids come home from school, how was it? What do you have for homework? That's how you get deeper into knowing somebody and God wants that from us. And so um, this, this final part of the study, it's kind of like a benediction and so I wanted to share that with you. Um, and I wanted to encourage you to, to question during this time of, you know, all the things that were going on racially, all the things that are going on with our world, all the things with the pandemic. Um, this is what she writes at the end. May the unseen one who fills all in all peel away the cataracts and distractions that we have left on our spiritual eyes and grant us glimpses of himself and the grace to bear and share them rightly. The whole earth is full of his glory. So keep your eyes wide open, traveler. You are no aimless wanderer. Stay in the scriptures. Seek the filling and thrilling of the spirit. Savor good company. Sing, muse, dance, rest, and leap often. Laugh hard because life is hard and laughter is fine medicine. Don't keep your tears bottled up. Let them go. Trusting God to be your bottler. That way, none will go to waste. So I leave you with that, but I also just wanted to say thank you because two weeks ago, there was an incredible food drive for Ecuador and it showed us community in incredible ways. And although we can't be in the church pews with you, we felt so connected to our church family because of the blessing that you are to provide food to those who need it so much in Ecuador. So blessings to you and I hope you have a great day.